Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to cover several filters that are available with GIMP. For the most part, it really doesn't matter what GIMP version you have, but for this tutorial, I highly recommend that you are on version 2.6.6 .6 or greater. Um, the other tutorials I go through, it really won't matter because they're pretty much the same. With that being said, let's go ahead and let's get started. And here I have an image and we're going to go through first uh, a filter that's called glow. What this filter does, it gives the picture like a really cool glow, it's very artistic and this is going to under the artistic filters and we can go to artistic and soft glow. And what'll happen is you'll have a box that'll come up and you can change the radius of the glow. Um, I kind of like the defaults that are set. And once you, you like what you have there, you hit OK. And within seconds, this filter is applied. So this is artistic. Um, some people like artistic, some people don't. But I figure I'll, I'll show you some of these. Um, I'm going to hit Control Z. And that's going to take me back to my original photo. Then another filter that's available is under artistic. And then photocopy. And once I click that, this dialog box appears and I can make these adjustments and I hit OK. This will make my image look more like a photocopy. The last one I want to go over, and I'm going to hit Control Z to remove that. The last filter I'm going to go over is going to show you how to create like an old photo appearance with your photos. And you go to where it says Decor, and then you click on Old Photo. The dialog box will appear. Make sure you hit Sepia, Defocus, and work on a copy. You don't want to work on the original one on this. You click on the OK button, and what this will do is it will create an old type image from your original image. These are three of the many different filters that are available. I really encourage you to really experiment because GIMP is a very powerful program, and there's so many different things you can do with it. Um, and there's so many different filters, so please feel free to experiment, and thank you very much for watching.